Hi, I'm Dan, an engineer at Code Academy, and I'm going to walk you through how to install Ruby on Rails for Windows. Installing Rails will allow you to start building applications locally. If you haven't used Rails before, it'll make sense to take the Learn Rails course on Code Academy for more information on what Rails can do and how it's used. There are only a few steps to complete, and I'll walk you through them in less than five minutes. First, open your browser and go to railsinstaller.org. Once the page is loaded, scroll down until you get to the download links. Select the Windows download for Ruby 2.1. It's on the far left of the screen. Click Save and wait for the download to finish. It may take um, as much as five minutes depending on your internet connection. Once the download is complete, click Run and accept the terms and click through to install. The install could take as long as three minutes, just let it go. Once it's complete, click finish and we'll set up Git on your computer. When prompted, enter your name and press enter and then enter your email and press enter. Now that Git's configured, we can set up Bundler. Update Bundler by running gem install bundler. You may get a firewall notification. Um, just click allow access. Now that that's complete, let's verify that Rails is installed by typing rails-v. This will output the version of Rails that's currently installed. We can now generate a test application by running Rails new test app. When the command is done running, we can change our directory to our test application by typing cd test app. Once in this directory, we can run our Rails application by typing bundler exec Rails server. We can verify that our Rails application is running by going into our browser and navigating to http colon slash slash localhost colon 3000. We now see the welcome aboard text and we're now riding Ruby on Rails. And we're all set. You should now have Ruby on Rails fully installed. If you ran into any trouble during the installation, don't worry. Running into problems during the installation isn't uncommon. Check the links in the description for more detailed installation instructions and feel free to ask questions in the comments. Things did work amazing. You can now begin building Ruby on Rails applications from scratch. For more information on Rails and how it's used, be sure to check out our course, Learn Rails, on Codecademy.com.